Start mission. Welcome back to Let's Play Beast Wars Transformers Part Dinobot, 10. Linux, Optimus, <coughs> Dinobot, Linux, Optimus. Well, it's at the point where we're just going through the game over again! Well, this time it'll hopefully be faster. Oh! Oh, now we're, Speaking of, cheater. we're now playing as Cheetor. The cheater. Uh, oh, he was every kid's favorite character. <laughs> the yellow kid of the Can't believe I fucking like this asshole. He wasn't that bad. He was an idiot. I gave him like two episodes in the first season where he did something real stupid. His eyes are so green. I mean, cat. I mean, yeah. Stone. To be quite frank, I definitely prefer his first season look over all the others. Well. Oh. Say the same about the metal the last. Well, I'm kind of tied between Optimal Optimus and Season 1 Primal. You know, except for Optimal Optimus, just having a bunch of completely ridiculous and superfluous modes. And then there's Megatron. Ugh. I really I liked, can't tell... I like Transmetal Megatron, but then that dragon thing looked fucking ugly, and his head looked misplaced on it. I could take him seriously. I'm not too big on the dragon Megatron. I could not take him seriously. He looked ridiculous. But he was a dragon. <laughs> well, his dragon on its own was kind of fearsome, but when he was in robot mode, he just looked ridiculous. He looked fat. <laughs> you know, he. No, it wasn't even just like him looking fabulous. It was more like. It looked ridiculous and nonsensical, and his head looked mismatched because there was no other there was no other colors that went well with purple on there. No, he kept his purple face, but everything else turned like red and gold and regal and whatnot. I didn't be fitting, you know, his particular styles. His face and head basically looked like it was ripped. I mean, apart from the shit that they added to it, I mean, it kind of looked like they ripped the, the whole model from his. Uh, Transmetal... Transmetal form head? Yeah. It, it, it just seemed like that... Like... It, it seemed like that particular... Form almost seems like it was probably in... That, that dragon form, whatever. It seemed like it was probably intended for someone else, and they just stuck his head on there. It, it, it's kind of like his Transmetal form put on a very big suit. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that that is kind of the way his toy was designed. And admittedly it looks better as Cryotech simply because the colors are more cohesive. Yes. I actually considered picking it well if it was possible, I would have considered picking up a cryotech. You know, it wasn't possible. I would love to get Cryotech either way, just so I can have the mold. And some essence of the character, I suppose. I think I may have had, like, an opportunity at it. Like, they were selling some of the extra sets for a while. But, you know, that that was from Fun Publications, and... I fuck them. Just fuck them with a, with a big, big, spiky, pointy stick. But, uh, back to the game. We have Cheetor firing... More lasers? I thought he had a quasar gun. Going right. back here again. Yeah, yeah, well, everybody. It seems like the majority of these guys end up using, like, lasers. Well, not lasers, but something that's not entirely like what they use in the shell. 
bib cannons. <clears throat> but then between Tarantulas and Scorponok, they only had missiles. Mm hmm. Their primary weapons were missiles. Actually, Cheetor had two weapons. There was his regular quasar cannon, which was actually his. He had. Didn't he have like arm can? No, wait. No, he had no, he a. Didn't. No, no, I'm thinking really wrong. What else did he have? He had his rump cannon, which really didn't have a name. He had two guns: one that was made from his beast mode guts, and one that was made from his beast mode butt. I don't know. He he used the gut cannon more often. Until Tigatron showed up. He started using his all the time? Yeah. Granted, I, whatever, I can't think of the other... The, the rump gun or whatever. Well, like I said, he didn't use it very often. It kind of it kind of looked like a crossbow in its own right. It was basically... Like some sort of... Uh, so no, it's pro. basically not worth talking about. But either way, uh, his particular transformation for his toy involved turning Tails. two elements of his beast mode into weapons. That's not what a tail is supposed to look like on a large cat. It comes to a freaking point on this thing. Uh, you've got to realize that this is a cheetah. They're not like regular... Well, actually, I said you large, are right. I said large cats. And let me put it this way. And large a cats cheetah is tails. not a regular large cat anyway. I know that, but that... Uh. It, it applies... It still applies to all of them. They don't have... They, their tails don't come to a point like most house cats do. They come to a... They come to more of a, a rounded-off nub. Yeah, that is true. And basically, again, like I was saying, any large cat, I'm pretty sure, is like that. Well, mm, I suppose you're right in that regard, but uh, on the whole, I think cheetahs are. Ah! do oh, come on! One thing about cheetahs is going that to cut any of this? Do I need to? I don't think I do. You dropped three times! I'm sorry. I thought I would have chaos control at this point, but I'm not... I, I edited if you drop this another stuff time, like the other... T if you drop another time, I'm breaking this mug on your face. Yeah, that mug. The one that says... The stuff. Kindness, patience, peace, and goodness, whatever. <laughs> the irony, that would be... The Lord will forgive me! Okay, just do a fucking jump. Do a fucking jump. There. Jesus. But like I said, uh, cheetahs in jump. particular for wildcats are built more like canines. And I really shouldn't even go this way. I've gone in a circle. Oh my god! I thought there would be like either a button or a power-up over there. I don't think there was anything. That it's was a waste of time! I'm sorry! I oh, didn't you. realize it was a red herring. All I remember is that when I went over there on the Predacon side, there was something important. Ah, oh, fuck the developers! Developers, developers, develop. What? Ow! You fucking hurt yourself. Steam hurts. I mean, even like, learn something from it, Valve. Even like, even like most house cats have more have less pointy tails than what he has here. He looks like he's got a dog tail, which, even though they're built more like canines, their tails are still the same as most large cats. True. And his tail comes to a freaking real super point. What is that? I don't like a rescue oh, a rescue mission icon. Hoodoo! And Three. Energon, of course. Do you ever do any rescue missions over the course of this entire playthrough? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's actually going to be a very funny thing, like, near the very end Boy. that I'm going to come across. Where I... I'm not going to spoil it, but let's just say it had me dumbfounded. Okay. What ended up happening. 
And so we are now here. This used to be a pit full of green acidy stuff. Now it's a pit full of steam vents. I hear someone building diaper changing station. That doesn't sound good. No, he knew he had an hour. I told him. Does he listen? No. No, if people are listening, you gotta know what we're talking about. That's for they the don't best. need to. That's for the best. You don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Well, if they hear that, they might, but I don't think so. Not the way I have the mic set up right now. Go away. Go away. Go away. But no, they gave Cheetor a laser instead of a Quasar gun. The only characters that I think had lasers in the show were Megatron and Dinobot. On a second. You. I'm right. gonna. I'll be right back. All right. Well. Okay. I'm on my own again. But on the bright side, at least I have Skittles. Ah. <sighs> Okay, so these bloody scorpion mechs and those flying launcher things are fairly universal. These things, I don't know what they are. War round! I think he's coming back. Razor Hey! You took my skittle! Uh mm. Fine. Like I said before. We need two bathrooms. Beast mode. Oh, it's so good. I really hope none of that is being caught on the microphone. <laughs> It'd be real awkward to have to explain that. Actually, it's fairly awkward. Already. Well, I don't think I should. Let's just... It's hard to do a commentary when stuff like that is going on. People yelling and carrying on. Screaming at the world for being stupid. Now the boss this time is... Three, count them, three centaur robots. I just threw a super weapon into a cache of Energon. There did nothing. There should, there should have been a nuclear explosion. Normally when you shoot, it like, watch this. Uh, anyway, the spider's lair. This is new. You're actually now in Tarantulas' lair. Would have been more appropriate if you took Monkey! Rat trap. Rat trap. Uh, sadly and strangely, he is the unlockable character in this game. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Another further screw up on behalf of the game makers is that 
Rat Trap is the one you have to rescue from the stasis pod. Is that here? There. Where is his stasis pod? I think it'll be seen in whether the next part is. I think we'll do like only three parts tonight and after that I'll see if the other guy will join me for the last three. At this rate I'm not holding my breath though. There he is and I could take him out very quickly right now but uh, nope. I don't know, I guess I just wanted the weapon power up. Something I always do whenever I do this particular boss battle is I always jump into the teleporter to get the power up. Not that it matters, but if you're playing this now, he's not that big of a boss. I mean, there he is, he's dead. Not a big surprise? Well, what do you expect from Tarantulas? He had the lowest life bars on the Predacon side. But uh, that's it for part 10. I'll um, see you... Yeah. In a minute.